Hello, I'm Chaplain Inal Richardson Claypool, and I serve as Director of Spiritual Life here at the Westland. I was invited to share with you an article that I wrote for our Independent Living newsletter. So here it is. August is my birthday month. After reaching a certain age, when I could no longer hold on to 29, I really stopped celebrating my birthday. Truth be told, I dreaded whenever it came around. My birth date was a constant reminder that another year had come and gone, one in which that I had not accomplished all the goals that I set for myself, and one in which I had not fulfilled all my dreams. But something shifted a few years ago, and I, I can't really say what. I, I think maybe it was the fact that whenever I would complain to my mom, about dreading the next birthday, she would say, consider the alternative. So I finally did. So now I celebrate my birthday. I usually do it by going to the ocean because it is there that, that being near the water brings out the kid in me. My children really tease me about the fact that whenever I'm out of water, I'm dancing and twirling around and, and acting silly. But there's something about being in the shore, near the shore, that, that um, I feel closest to God. When I am by the seashore, I am moved to worship the one who lives forever and ever. I am moved to worship the one who created the heavens and all that is in them, and, and the one who created the earth and all that is in it, and the sea and all that is in it. So August is a month of celebration for me now. Celebration of life and love and salvation and the goodness of God. Do you know what else I choose to celebrate this month? You. I choose to celebrate you. I celebrate the residents of the Westland. I celebrate my teammates. In spite of all the challenges we are all facing, what I see on a daily basis leaves me in awe. As soon as I come on the grounds in the morning, I see people who are determined not to let this season get them down. Many are taking their morning constitutionals, some alone, some with spouses, some with friends, and some with their fur babies. I am greeted at the screening desk with cheerful hellos and smiling eyes. What can I say about that group that gathers in the lobby of the IL West? The stories, the jokes, the laughter, it's amazing. The kitchen staff is also amazing. They're friendly, they're helpful, Many of them share stories about their faith and how they are maintaining. I can go on and on about all the people I come in contact with. What a privilege and an honor it is for me to be in your midst. I pray you will continue to seek the good. Philippians 4, 8 says, Finally, brethren and sistren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, Whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. This August, instead of focusing on the negative, I choose to focus on the good. I'm still here, and so are you. Let's move forward seeking the good, choosing to be content, sharing our joy with others. We will get through this together. God bless you.